All right, so listen, I got myself a Heat team working with a giraffe that's got the hoodie on. And I'm going to get myself into some more VGC. I think this would be a really fun team. Uh, shout out to the team creator. Their link is in the description along with the, the team paste and the rental code. If you guys would like to give this a try, uh, I thought it'd be fun. It's it's basically a a trick room team kind of centered around both Hariyama, uh, Farigaraf, and then you've got things like the Torkoal with the specs that hits really hard in the back. Uh, but what's really cool about this team is that it's actually built specifically kind of anti-meta-ish in certain ways. Uh, you'll see a lot of the time people are going to be playing with Annihilates with Choice Scarfs. It, this Frigograph is actually built to live a max HP final Gambit with 1 HP, which is awesome. Um, you've got some really big threats like the King Gambit, who is wearing safety goggles, so I don't have to worry about uh, opposing Among Us Spores. Like Amoongus is running rampant against this team. Um, you would think Torkoal has a good answer against it, but a lot of the time you're going to see... Um, you're going to see things like those things just going for defensive Terras, and then you're kind of just stuck. So, uh, Specs Torkoal... In the sun gets really good damage off on eruptions if I can keep uh, health high. And then you got the Focus Ash Meowskarata, just a nice attacker. Um, Assault Vest Dragonite. This thing's actually good because it is able to beat uh, opposing things like uh, opposing dragons. It's got Ice Spinner, which is great against uh, Garchomps. But shout out to Aaron Cybertron Zeng. I saw him using this team and I figured I wanted to give it a whirl. So, so what have we here? Okay, I feel like this is a popular team. Um, Interesting. There's a lot of threats and a lot of modes that they can work with here. You could go Murkrow, Tailwind, Mousehold, Follow Me, and then I might even want to bring the Dragonite here, to be honest. Might even consider bringing Dragonite. I don't think. Don't think I'm going to be kowtowing any bitches today. I'm going to go. The old trusty lead here, because it's gotta be it's gotta be Murkrow Tailwind, right? And then Definitely Torkoal in the back because great against both String Cheese guy, Golden Go, slash Breloom. Not so ideal against things like the Dragons. But do I go Dragonite or Meowskarata here? Dragonite's normal Terra. Extreme speed. Whereas Meowskarata Focus Ash guarantees me to be able to do something, but I don't like it against I'm gonna go Dragonite. When in doubt, bring the Dragonite in the vest. Again, I'm I'm horrible at like deciding what what to bring against these against teams. It's scary. VGC is a whole a whole new beast. But I will conquer. What I need to do is just uh, really get a team down and then just continue to try to practice with it because I don't know he does look nice in that vest Brent all right so we're seeing Murkrow and the dragon so it's an interesting one zebra thank you for the nine months all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna fake out the dragon we're gonna trick room I think time. yeah my alerts are late as hell <laughs> I actually don't have the alerts on the screen because I didn't want it to be too distracting. Twitch alerts can get, you know, get crazy. All right, let's see what they're going to do. We get the fake out on the dragon, which is great. Then I just, after Trick Room's up, then I just, uh... Oh, you cannot taunt me. Armor Tail is a fantastic ability in this game. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, that's why Phorograph is so good, right? Is because you just ignore enemy fake outs and things like the taunt. Because you cannot use priority when this giraffe is on the field. And you can't use priority on either me and my, my homie on the side of me, so... Now we have Trick Room up, and now I basically click Close Combat into High Dragon. They could switch, eh, I mean, Golden Go is the worst case scenario. But I think it's still worth it to click here. And then, I just Hyper Voice to cover for you. Well, if they go Golden Go, that's, that's actually not great. I may even Shadow Ball into that slot. All right, we're gonna go for a risky prediction here. I'm Shadow Balling into Dragon. Okay, they don't switch dragon. But that's fine, right? Murkrow poses pretty much no threat as it's on the field. Because he basically just sitting there flapping away. And what, foul play is going to be his highest damage output or something like that. Um, but be my guest going for the tailwind in the trick room. Other than that, you can't taunt me. Haze is fine. It does just foul play into Hariyama. Okay. 
But Hariyama just got some big boy damage uh, with that with that guts activated. So let's see what else they brought. So having one of the scare honestly, High Dragon's one of the scarier mons in the BGC meta right now. It's always been good, but now with access to tearing into like a steel type, a poison type, you'll see some 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 scary stuff. All right, so this is gonna go Breloom. Interesting. Okay, so. Like close combat and then just hyper voice. Wish I had a psychic move on this giraffe, but I do not. I think I just double Breloom. Even if it protects, Murkrow can only go for one more, another foul play on the Hariyama. Hariyama is actually probably my best threat at this point. Okay, so nothing happens. Close combat knocks it to Sash. Let's go. Look at the damage from the Hariyama. Thing is insane. Um. And this is where this team shines, right? Going up against a team that is built around having high speed. Uh, me working with the opposite with the Trick Room is amazing. And you also don't really even consider it. When you look at this team comp, I mean, I guess you see the draft, but um, puts us in a good, good position. Now we get the old Throat Spray, boost that attack. Throat was hurting a little bit, but now we're feeling good. Foul play, we're going to leave that burn damage and be able to get another off. Let's go. What's the mod in the back? Chomp? Or it's got, if he had Golden Go, he would have gone into it, I feel like. It is Golden Go. Interesting Interesting. you don't switch into it earlier. I honestly feel like that thing is going to protect or something, but it's still worth it for me to go for the knockoff here on Ariyama's last attack. Maybe just Shadow Ball. We have another turn of Trick Room, so we're out here running fast in this upside-down dimension we've created with the Trick Room. Trick Room can be... An interesting team to an interesting to work around because I, I need the giraffe basically if I if I run out of trick room turns I hate, okay golden Doe, go does protect so that's annoying. Mercury does go for the haze does not like that special attack boost on the giraffe huh? Okay, well unfortunate that they do protect there, but what I'm gonna do here is so we we lose trick room here. Okay, so I do just die, but fairly certain Giraffe can live, well, if they double Giraffe here, I'm actually not in a good spot, but we just go Torkoal now, and Torkoal Eruption, or I actually just Flamethrower into the, into the Applejack. Cinnamon is the Winamon slot, because I don't think we can even die here unless they double, which case if they do, then I can get up another Trick Room. Well, I don't even know if I need the Trick Room anymore, to be honest. Let's see here. I'm just going to flamethrower Golden Go. Shadow Ball Golden Go. He goes for the double protect, does not get it. That was... That was a bad situation. Just kidding. We had one more turn of Trick Room, by the way. Um, so the double protect there was basically to try to stall out the Trick Room turns. Um, and that would have been a good play. But worth it for me to just go for the Golden Go. Again, with Murkrow on the field where he has relatively low damage output, it, it's, it's not a threat at this point. So Dimensions return to normal, but this Murkrow cannot kill me. Again, if you're unfamiliar why people are using Murkrow, uh, it's because it's the only Pokemon with the ability called Prankster, which uh, allows you priority on non-attacking moves. Uh, so it's got Prankster plus Tailwind. So it's like one of the most popular mons in the meta right now. Uh, I feel like it's starting to kind of lower down in usage, just because people are, are you know, figuring out that it's super common. Um, well, that's an easy dub. All right, what do we got here? Okay, so this is a Trick Room team with Ndidi and Armor Rouge, but then there's also... The mouse hold, interesting. Hmm. Couple different things they could lead with here, right? They got the mouse hold, they have the Murkrow. A lot of the times when I see these combos of Pokemon and DD slash Armorous, you're gonna probably see them with like a follow me type of thing going on. Worried about expanding forces into Hariyama is scary. Um, but I think I do still lead Hariyama because I, I should be able to take at least one, right? We're going to go with the old trusty duo here. 
Then I honestly like Dragonite here because we can get that normal Terra Extreme Speed even if there's Trick Room shenanigans going on. And then... Torkoal's great against Meowskarada, but other than that... Is it worth... How do I beat Armor Rouge and Didi is the question. Do I want to go my own Masquerada? Hmm. I think I'm going to go my own Meowskarada. I don't know. Listen, I'm just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks here. So I'm bringing Meowskarada here because I like having that cushion of the Focus Sash. I feel like they're going to lead in Didi Armor Rouge. If not, they go... They're, they're probably not going to go Murkrow lead. I really hope they go Murkrow lead, but... Is mouse hold just here for damage? It's weird, right? Because you see certain mouse holds that are like... Built as attackers, and then certain ones that are just built as support. With uh, Follow Me, Encore, things like that. But mouse hold can also just population your ass into the Shadow Realm. And it's very scary. Alright, so we are going to see... Yep, yeah, mouse hold, Meowskarada. So, the old cat and mouse game to start us off here, huh? So, I feel like we're likely going to see Follow Me come from that thing. I'm just going to, I might even just click, you know. I don't know if it's even worth going for the fake out here if it's just going to follow me. I think I close combat, and then Giraffe sets up Trick Room. If we don't see Murkrow lead, do they even have speed control in this game? I don't know. Let's figure it out, huh? The old Tom and Jerry build is a classic, classic maneuver. They are going to switch out Meowskarada. Okay, what were they? What was that lead built for? What were you expecting? Okay, so they just go in DD. Um, Psychic Surge, so no fake out shenanigans, I imagine. And then it's also going to be Psychic Seed, get that special defense boost. But now under Trick Room, we'll have a nice little knockoff. Population bomb into the giraffe. I'm not thick enough. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Yes, let's go. <laughs> the 10 times we barely are able to live. Uh, and then close combat just knocks it out. Whew. The population bomb is scary as shit. Uh, with that thing's technician, that damage hurts. Unless they're hitting a mon that you have that has a rocket helmet or... Or, uh, rough skin, it, it could be scary. So, that's why Population Bomb is extremely scary, cats. And oh, yeah, 10 times is gnarly. So, now we get Hariyama untouched uh, with Trick Room up, and that was extremely nice. This is why this giraffe is built in a bulky way. If that was, yeah, anyways, they're gonna just bring right back in Meowskarada. Uh, what are we gonna see? Sucker Punch from that thing? I'm going to just knock off into Ndidi. Are they going to try to get rid of my Trick Room? What is the thing going to do? I think I... I think I Protect here. Well, no, they can't Sucker Punch because Giraffe's out. Well, I don't know. I think Protect just to scout here. Ensure that Giraffe stays alive. Meowskarada protects. Okay, this is perfect. Now I go first and get that knockoff. You see Expanding Force potentially from that thing, but that knockoff hurts. What item are you? Oh, never mind. It was, it was, it was, we saw the Psychic Seed, so it does just Dazzling Gleam. Um, and now this actually sets us up in a decent position, right? Because I could even go for a Wide Guard, knowing that they want a Dazzling Gleam there. However, there's no point, because I actually just outspeed and just kill with Knockoff, so... I think I just go for the Knockoff. I have the Torkoal in the back for the Masquerada. No, I don't have the Torkoal, just kidding. That's a lie. That was a flat lie right there. Uh, but Dragonite has a decent matchup against it. Now I just I think I just click Hybrid Voice. Is there any downfall to me just clicking Hyper Voice here? Okay, there's a Protect. That's annoying. Joe croissants on your ears. Get that shit out of here. So Giraffe gets off a nice little Hyper Voice. Activate Throat Spray, but it's going to be too late because Meowth Brattle probably just kills me here, but... Hariyama is a big ass threat. I was really hoping to kill the Ndidi there, to be honest. Oh, they go Hariyama. Okay, so that's actually fine. I mean, they see Hariyama is the biggest threat, but now Giraffe Rig is under Trick Room uh, with a Throat Spray. So 
I'm actually in a pretty great position here. I think I just go Dragonite, save Miascarada in the back. What are they going to have as their last mod is the question. What is the last mon here? Armor Rouge? I don't know. Let's see. I don't need to Terra here. I think I just Dragon Claw slash Hyper Voice. However, do we see Protects? Let's go switch out. Sorry for the dog shaking. We got the, the bells going. It is Murkrow. Interesting. Okay. Failed double protect from the Ndidi. About to get your ass punished for that shit. I get the hyper voice. Doesn't actually kill. Doesn't kill the Ndidi. Uh, which is insane. Pim Crow goes down though, which is fine. I mean, that crow really wasn't going to provide much value to them anyway, considering Trick Room's up. And now we just say hello again to the Neoscarada. So. What are we looking like here? We've got one turn of Trick Room and one turn of Psychic Terrain. So I can't Extreme Speed yet because of the Psychic Terrain. But I think I just Dragon Claw. What is my... Uh, yeah, I think I just Dragon Claw there. Hyper Voice again. The Giraffe is a legend, bro. Look at this, look at this Farigaraf, bro. This indeed is protecting for his damn life over here. Okay, so we do see the double protect. So that is unfortunate because now Trick Room is gone. But so is their psychic uh, terrain. So I could Terra Dragonite here. The thing is, we haven't seen a Terra from them. So I'm expecting Masquerade to be Terra. But is it going to be something that resists normal? There's no way. Masquerade are generally just going to be offensive uh, increased stab Terras. But Dimensions back to normal. Weirdness disappears. Solid. Now I go ahead, Terra, extreme speed. I'm mean, worried about a follow me from the Ndidi. I may even go for a protect here. I'm gonna protect just because... No, I'm not. It's worth it for me to click Hyper Voice because if they don't target Giraffe here, then that protect is worthless. So we do see the Terra. It's gonna be on the Meow. Terra that meow, boy. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, so it's just, like I said, it's just going to be grass type Terra. Get some increase on the grass damage, but Dragonite should be still fine. I, I think that they probably just Terra there for. Well, I mean, let's see. Mami Ascarada, I really wish I would have got the kill on that indeed. Mami Ascarada in the back can beat theirs, but. We get off the extreme speed, we don't see any protect. And that just kills. Bro, I'm telling you. Terra normal plus extreme speed is broken as shit. Not actually broken, but it's scary because you uh it's a hundred base power move, that's just scary as shit. So we, we terra there just because now we're no longer a dragon, so Dazzling Gleam doesn't scare us. Uh, giraffe is scared of it, of course. But now we just have the Meowskirata, so. Should have the game in the bag there, unless this two HP uh, regional freaking Audino has anything for us. We just extreme speed and we just sucker punch. They can protect, but there's nothing left. And that's a game, boys. That's a game. Shout out to Dragonite doing some shit, huh? We'd love to see it. Okay. Gengar is something I have not seen yet. So we see... Um, I'm honestly immediately scared of the Serilege. That thing is a threat. Depending on what it does. Golden Ghost, scary for this team. I have to bring Torkoal. They have a Dragonite of their own. Hmm. Let's see here. Do I want to bring the King Gambit? Are they going to bring this Gengar? What is Gengar going to do to me? I'm frightened. Bro, I'm just keeping it 100 with this. Because we don't see Trick Room on their end. If they go prank, if they go Prankster Tailwind, that's great for me. Then we go Torkoal. And then it comes down to what next? Do I go this? If it's Dragonite in the back, I'm worried about... Well, 
I'm worried about the Golden Go. But if I can outspeed that with Torque, we're fine. Do I want to go King Gambit? Knockout Noons, thank you for the 33 months. Appreciate the sub, my guy. Right, let's see. Let's go. Fuck. Let's go what? Let's go what is the question. I might even bring Dragonite again. I'm bringing Dragonite again. This guy's pretty ghostly. Okay, I'm expecting potentially Murkrow, Golden Go lead, which looks nice again this team. I also could see the Sarah Ledge thing. I'm afraid of Terra's from that. Let's see what happens. Murkrow, hi Dragon. Okay, this is great. There's the, <laughs> there's the alert. All right, let's see. So we see. Dragon Murkrow, this is great. Now we just do the same exact thing. I think we fake out there. And we trick room here. Again, we can't be taunted. Dragon's not gonna be able to do anything unless he wants to protect. I just get up the trick room here. Hariyama's gonna be a threat again. Okay, the dragon does protect, but I mean, that serves the same exact purpose as I'm trying to just stop you from doing anything turn one. Ideally, I would like you to not have a dark move against me. Murkrow ties, tries to taunt again. Armor tail. <laughs> the people don't know about the giraffe, my guy. That's so funny. Okay, perfect. Gonna go ahead and twist them dimensions. Activate that orb. And now, answer is what they have in the back. Do I go for the prediction? Close combat is obvious on the dragon. They have a, two answers for that. I think I have to go for the same play. Here's what I'm gonna do. I go for the knockoff on that slot. I think I'm going to knock off and then get this throat spray going early. Chip on the Murkrow. But, I mean, like I said, Murkrow is fine having out here. Let's just see. I think they're going to switch to one of their ghosts here. Uh, so a knockoff could be huge. They do switch out. Okay. Bring in the Golden Go or something. Show Daddy a ghost. Nice. This is fine, too. Let's go. Okay. So, yeah, the close combat was the obvious play into the tripod dragon uh, clear amulet which is interesting and then now we just get a big ol' hyper voice off on you activate that throat spray now we're under trick room I have two very scary threats and the thing the Pokemon I was most afraid of is now gone so we're in a pretty good spot here foul play hurts a lot I could Terra to avoid that damage but it's kinda too late I don't know if I'll even need more trick room in this match I suppose we'll see so they're gonna go Dragonite okay Assuming Terra normal, I'm just going to click close combat here. I can live another foul play. So I just hyper voice again. That's what this team does. Okay, so they do not Terra normal. Close combat still does half, which is why we still click that. Uh, that's actually kind of annoying. I mean, they couldn't go extreme speed anyway because of my ability. And unfortunately, Dragonite lives even through both of those attacks. I kind of thought that that was going to kill. I'm not going to lie. Oof, and the earthquake there. Is unfortunate because now down goes giraffe but I think we're still posi positioned pretty well right I'm still I think I'm going to go torque hole here now what they could do is extreme speed into Hariyama but I don't know if I live that I think I might if I'm gonna be honest Let's see, I mean, what are we like working with on Trick Room here? Two turns left. I think I just, uh, I think I just close combat into this slot and then just eruption. Do I want to tear a fire? No, I don't think I do. They really did fuck up Dragonite Shiny, for real. Okay, so Nemurker just taunts on the Torkoal. What are you taunting the Torkoal for, sir? I am choice specs. He says, finally the, gira the giraffe is gone. I can get the <laughs> the taunt off. And so the eruption just takes care of it. So now you, you can see the benefit of Torkoal with both Trick Room and Sun. I mean, eruption uh, specs is going to hurt a lot. Now I just close combat the air. Punch in the air right now, for real. Let me get uh, to at least see what their last mon is. Now, with something with Protect, obviously, we lose a turn of Trick Room. 
And we, we lose Trick Room in general. Wait, it's the High Dragon. Just kidding. We saw what it was. I was like, what is it going to be? So we know that this thing has Protect. What I'm going to do is I'm even going to switch out Hariyama, which could actually come back to bite me. I would like to get a Fake Out off on it. Fake Out kind of guarantees a dub. Um, I actually, I'm an idiot and forgot that High Dragon was the last Mon. Not going to lie. But they can't really Terra. I saved Terra for my Dragonite. I, s I put Hariyama in the back just so that I can get the Fake Out after. I mean, if he goes for a Dragon move into the Dragonite slot, or into this slot, this is bad news. He is just going to Terra. He's just going to Terra and then Protect, and it's probably like a Steel Terra or something, huh? Fire Terra. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't even protect. Oh, look at that eruption damage from the dude, the turtle. Uh, so now the heat wave is fine. I mean, that shit hurted, but we're mostly good. I'm honestly happy that it was a fire terror, though. Dimensions return to normal, but now we just terra. We extreme speed. And we just have to click eruption, so... Should be mostly fine here. This is where this team really shines is when they, they're going, they're banking on Tailwind, Murkrow. You're going to have a bad time. Hey, congrats on hitting Masters, Kevpog. Let's go. All right, so I put the diamond on my head. I'm iced the fuck out. And that kills the, the dragon. So, again, normal Terra Dragonite is out here doing the damn thing. And hey, that ain't too bad. I do lose my cool diamonds, but that's okay. Okay. Uh-oh. We see the Avalug with the giraffe and a Torkoal. This is a trick room team, huh, boys? So now I'm a little bit... See, this is where this puts me, throws me off, because I can't really go with, with what I want to do. Do technically. I think they're gonna lead Avalug Giraffe. Hmm. What do I do against? I gotta go against a giraffe now? Are you kidding me? I think I'm gonna lead Meowscarada. Try to get some damage off on that giraffe. Mascarada slash Dragonite? Terra to avoid potential Avalug nonsense, and then Hariyama. And these boys in the back. I think, okay, this, this seemed, the, the plan worked out in my head. Um, I'm sure it's not gonna go like that in practice, but <laughs> let's, let's see how this goes. Ideally, we see a giraffe lead with something like Avalug. I Terra Dragonite, I can get the damage off without taking a super effective attack. I can knock off on the giraffe, let's see. They are Giraffe Torkoal, okay. So this actually puts me in a decent spot because we're guaranteed to see guaranteed to see trick room from this giraffe. I think I go suck or I go right for a knockoff. And then Sash Masquerade is gonna be great. I might even then just Dragon Claw onto there. Cause then I have Stomping Tra Tantrum against the Torkoal. They're probably still gonna click the eruption. Do I just Dragon Claw here? I don't want to Terra. I keep the Dragon typing. They could even just, they could even not Trick Room, to be honest. I think I then Tantrum against the Torkoal. Because if they do go eruption, oh, damn it, just Protect. Okay, that makes obvious sense. Of course you Protect and then Trick Room. My downfall is that I don't, I don't read those well. I. I find myself in situations where obviously they're going to protect their turn one. I, I just think immediately I'm like, oh, Trick Room's going to be activated. But no, he's slower still first, so. That was dumb. I could have literally just killed that giraffe before it got that Trick Room off. I am dumb. Nice to meet you. 
And I can't go for priority. So. I think I go. Knock off still against Giraffe to kill that thing. Because I need the priority. Now. Just still tantrum against the Torkoal. Yeah, I could have, I could have like countered this so well. They're gonna maybe go fire terror on the Torkoal, just for big ol' eruption damage, and then dazzling gleam is then gonna kill Meowth before it gets to do anything. Uh oh. Yeah, I've already seen my misplay, and I think it's gonna be hard for me to crawl back here. I was just helping hand, huh? Okay, well helping hand is fine. That's actually great because now. The eruption does a tit load of damage, but I'm Sash anyway, and Dragonite doesn't take shit from that anyway, so maybe they're expecting me to try to get normal Terra and then extreme speed. So I get the tantrum off, which is fantastic, because now eruption does half the damage and then knockoff just kills the giraffe. So hey, that actually was great. I The helping hand there I think was a misplay. They go for a spread damage move, then Miascarada dies before I get that off. Uh, and likely Dragonite dies to like something like a Dazzling Gleam. Mine doesn't. My Giraffe doesn't carry Dazzling Gleam, so maybe that just doesn't either, but... Turn to Trick Room, gone. Now that we see the Capraja, and I'm not really worried about what... I'm kind of worried, actually. Well, let's see. I can... What is? What do I have for Capraja? What do I do for Capraja? I have the Hariyama in the back, but I'm expecting that thing to probably Terra. I think I have to try to Sucker Punch here, get some damage off before Torkoal goes down. Yeah. I can Sucker Punch now. And then... And then I go Chip against the Caparaja. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like I'm still poorly positioned here, but at least... Sucker Punch. This thing's... Yeah, he's just gonna erupt again. I'm about to bust! So I at least get the Sucker Punch off before going down, does nothing to Dragonite, but now Copperage outspeeds me and goes for what? What the fuck? What does Copperage do? I haven't seen this thing in, like, years, bro. Not gonna lie. Oh, just straight up play rough. Okay. Yep, the thing's got to play rough. Okay, so... Good news, Torkoal is no longer that big of a threat. Bad news... Now I gotta deal with Copperage's fat ass. How? Hmm. Do you think... What is Copperage's minimum speed? It's a base 30, whereas Hariyama is definitely faster, so that's unfortunate. Uh, base 50, fuck. So what I could do, I obviously fake out onto the Kaparaja. Go for it. Go for a Trick Room on my own. Negate Trick Room. Then Hariyama outspeeds the Kaparaja. That's my plan. Going for it. We go fake out there. There is... How many turns of Trick Room? We got two turns. Trick Room and Sunlight. I think I... Don't want a Trick Room here. Yeah, we get rid of that Trick Room. Let's see what happens here. They could switch Copperaja here, but I don't have much other... Many other plays. So, we get the fake out off. That's actually solid. Oh, this thing does just carry Fire Blast. Oh, no shit. Fuck! I was really hoping it was specs. It didn't look like specs damage, but it, it yeah, oh, wow. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I, I definitely messed up this one in that I, I played that turn one completely wrong. If Hariyama, dude, Hariyama straight up dies to that? Man. In that sun, that shit is scary. Well. Time to yell at some people, huh? Time to yell at some stuff. I mean, that's pretty much game there. I needed Hariyama to take out Raja. And if the rest of their team is slower than Hariyama, we're in a great spot, but... Hmm. Still unfortunate. No more Trick Room, so I get the Hyper Voice off, which... does, you know... Kill the Torkoal, but they still have Nirmala in the back. Plus, I have nothing against 
the Kaburaja. Kaburaja is such a sick Pokemon. I mean, I've... Is this thing good now? I mean, it's pretty. It's living my ass right now, so it's probably pretty good. But heavy slam, ouch! Yeah, that shit hurt him. Sunlight goes away. It would have been nice if that sunlight faded before the turn attacking Hariyama. Maybe we would have had a chance to live. But that's that's certainly game. As now there's this thing. So GG, well played. I played stupid, but you know, sometimes that how she—that's how it goes. I don't. I'm learning. Okay. That's a good game, though. Ooh, we got some snow shenanigans here, huh? Okay, plus a, a random Vaporeon. So let's see. Realistically, to Titan, you immediately think Belly Drum. Um, but what's good is Trick Room works well for me here. Aurora Veil, Obama Snow, then if they do end up going potentially lead final gambit, Giraffe can take one and live with one HP. So I think we gotta go Hariyama. We bring out the hoodie. And then it comes down to Torkoal's probably st I think we can maybe go Torkoal plus Father Bisharp. I feel like What is Palm out here? Is he gonna revive some shit? I'm scared. Kinda of scared against Vaporeon. Don't wanna bring Meowskarada for that reason. Not necessarily. Might wanna go Meowskarada instead of this. Worried about bulk up Annihilate potential. Maybe even Dragonite? No. We don't, do we don't got Dragonite here. I'm going Meowskarada, but I, I yeah, that's like me putting faith in the rest of the team being like able to carry with Trick Room. But let's see. If it's Revival if it's revival Blessing, that's going to be interesting to see. I don't know. This is going to be a fun one. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, obviously you see that team and you think it's a Titan lead. Belly Drum with Aurora Veil, Obama Snow. But if they don't do that, then then what is their, what is their other mode? Let's see. Volcarona to Titan, okay, so Shiny to Titan comes in looking sick. Now Volcarona, what are you here to do? Bug against Ooh, almost makes me feel like I need to now Terra Giraffe. I think I do need to do that. I guess I could do it eh, next turn, but maybe not. Let's see. I'm gonna go fake out against that thing. I am gonna Terra normal. Just to ensure we're Gucci against bugs. Actually, who do I, what do I have in the back? I think I do just Terra this thing. Terra it now, I go for the Trick Room. Let's see what happens. I haven't even seen Shiny to Titan up close until now. That's pretty sick. So Titan looks sick as a water Terra because he gets like his spout, it's kinda cool. All right, so we get the diamond on our heads. Now we're no longer weak to Volker run a stab. We get the fake out regardless. Oh, the flame body's hilarious because I needed guts anyway. <laughs> He's probably like, oh, thank God, I got him. I don't know, but Rocky Helmet's annoying. Now what does the Titan here do? Just high school crash. Wild, okay. Totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. Now we get great speed control. Fantastic speed control, even. Predicted that flame body is perfect. I mean, we would have gotten the flame orb activated anyway. Uh, so now we close combat. What could they switch into? They could go Annihilate, but if they want to make that call, that's fine. I'm going to click the close combat here. It's just the safest option. May even Shadow Ball into that slot, too. Not super afraid of Volcarona. I'm going to Shadow Ball to cover for switch into Annihilate here. Oh, he does. goes Vaporeon. My man's neck gotta hurt holding up that VVS for you. <laughs> okay, close combat into the Vaporeon absolutely destroys my guy. Hate to see it. I should have gone for Hyper Voice. Get damage off on the Volcarona, a little chip. Uh, but Shadow Ball still kills, so going for that Shadow Ball is safe as bet because 
surprisingly not switching to Annihilate there, but that's fine. Just don't have to worry about it's a Titan here. Now we see Struggle Bug. Are Volker Runners out here using Struggle Bug these days? This shit's crazy. Alright, we get a special attack drop, which is fine. I don't know Volker Run I don't know VV or <laughs> VGC Volcaronas, you know? So what are they going to here? We got Trick Room up for fucking years out here and we're looking good, so now it's just gonna go Obama Snow. Honestly expecting protect from Obama Snow. But I think I still just gotta click the close combat unless Yeah, I think I just click close combat and then Hyper Voice. Minus one special attack, which sucks balls, but yeah, struggle bug spread damage um, and drop special attack. So yeah, almost no protect. Annoying. Local runner probably wants to kill Hariyama here. That's why I wish I was thick fed at some points because I could live fire moves. But let's see what this thing does. Luckily, no, um, no Terra from them. Okay, him protect. Big ol' extra stab, hyper voice. The yeah, well, Volcarona doesn't do anything, but I do get my throat spray. <laughs> my throat, it aches. Now we feel better. Oh, and the Giga Drain does kill the Hariyama. No, okay. This critical hit kills me. Fuck, and I think it's like back to full. So that is no fun for me at this time. However, we're still in great position because we have, we have Torkoal here. And now we just go double spread damage up on their ass, right? We just go straight up, uh... Do I want to lock myself into Expects Eruption? What is their... This is a Titan, yeah, I think I just go Eruption. If I run out of Trick Room here, that's where things are going to get hairy, but... Hairy and scary, like Patrick's belly button. We just go right for the Hyper Voice. We're going to see a Terra from the Obama Snow here. Obama Snow does get Earth Power coverage now, which is interesting. I don't think it had that before, so that's interesting to note. Fun fact for y'all. But I don't think they really have a good answer for just a high... Uh, so I'm back to neutral with special attack on Brigarath. Eruption is going to do a lot here. We do see a Terra. Terra Water on the Obama Snow. No! Oh, I'm down bad. Terror Blast into Torkoal? Fuck. Well, let's see. Oh my lord, that eruption just does so much damage still. Can I get a Hyper Voice kill here, Giraffe? Please. If I didn't get that special attack drop, I'd feel way better about this, but this, does, this, this doesn't kill, right? It does kill, easy. Just kidding. Giraffe is the goat. He doesn't get a 50% special defense boost in the snow, just the physical defense. So, yo, the specs, Torkoal, is truly amazing. I mean, it, it does so much damage. It's great to go into it there. I didn't even have the snow up. I, I was literally just talking about how I, I get my own sun up, so. Doesn't have, uh, doesn't have hail anyway. But now, in comes the Titan. And, dude, literally the beauty of this is that still working with a turn of Trick Room just enough. Just enough Trick Room to just yell at that motherfucker one more time. And that's game, boys. You talking about game. Yo, the draft is really fun. Not gonna lie. Thank you guys very much for watching. Listen, if you if you enjoy these VGC videos, go ahead and leave me a like and a comment. I, I'm having fun doing them. It's a little, we're over here on Twitch doing this live, so go ahead and toss me a follow uh, if you enjoy this type of stuff and you can catch me live. But also, yeah, let me know what you think about VGC. I think it's fun. Nice way to switch things up. And uh, see you guys.